it's almost spring so that means that all of our outdoor spaces are probably looking pretty rough from winter don't worry we're here to give you fresh inspiration to get outside and refresh your porch for spring we love sharing our own makeovers and mini refreshes with you to spark new ideas on how you can spruce up your own spaces so that they bring you more joy and today we're taking it outside Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Carla from Vintage Chip Decor and this is our home. And we are ready to tackle this front porch. So it happens every year, right? The sun starts shining a little bit brighter every day. New life starts popping up everywhere, but our outdoor spaces look a total mess. We knew we wanted to get outside and do a front porch makeover, but we weren't sure how we were going to make it feel fresh and new because it's looked the same for the last couple of years. We did know that we should start by doing what we always recommend for freshening up any space, and that's to clear everything out. Today, my mom Amanda and my dad Benny helped me tackle this project. They have been married for 35 years and make a pretty good team. I was definitely grateful to have their help for this project. We also removed a string of lights that's been hanging around since Christmas. No judgment, okay? It added some nice ambiance to the front of the house since it gets dark so early in the winter. But we went ahead and took it down. After removing everything from the porch, it was clear that it needed a good cleaning. So my mom gave the whole porch a good sweep. We mix some water with Spray 9 Heavy Duty Cleaner. It's a heavy duty cleaner. In an old empty spray bottle. And spray down the porch and the siding for a deeper clean. Then we gave the whole porch a good rinse with the water hose. My mom also got in there with a broom to do some scrubbing. All of this work left us with a clean blank slate. Now for the issue of not knowing how we would make the front porch feel fresh and new. We started by using the stuff that we already had, but just tried switching up the placement to help solve this problem. Your spaces and your decor will feel new again if you style them a little bit differently. So we put our little rustic table set on the opposite side of the porch and added a flower pot that my mom got earlier this week. Then we tried to hang something a little different on the wall. Yeah, baby, try it. Oh, no, the screw needs to come out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, Get Dad. I want to, Dad, I want to hang this up here, mm -hmm. but that screw is just in too deep. Okay. Can you try and hang it for me? My dad swapped out the old short screw for a longer one so we can hang up this really cool old vent cover type thing. Old rustic stuff like this makes for great farmhouse style porch decor. Nice. It's not going to fall on anybody, right? No. Symmetry always makes a front door look amazing, so we knew we wanted to bring our potted evergreen trees back to their original spots. But we spruced them up a little bit first. So it keeps moisture in the pots, adds a little bit of a little interest right here, you know? I added a different wreath that we already had to the front door, and then we created a little seating area using a plant from the garden and a chippy chair. We ended up putting our bench back in its original spot to finish off that little seating area and because it was really the only place that it fits. Then we added this old rustic iron piece that used to be part of a garden bench and this antique sink that we love so much. I tried creating a little vignette by adding more decor, but we decided that the sink would look better if we hung it up on the wall. and we knew it would look super cute with flowers in it, of course. We had some flowers, but we needed more, so we headed to town to see what we could find. We started at our local Lowe's, but ended up finding what we were looking for at Walmart. After loading up the cart, Love me some lavenders. <laughs> and packing it all into the car, it was time to head home and start planting our new flowers. Mm -hmm. 
My dad worked on planting some flowers in our hanging baskets while my mom worked on some planters. Look at these cute miniature pansies. How cute are they? Very Irresistible. Cute. Very cute. We stuck that little planter on the table and my dad hung up the hanging baskets for us. Then my mom worked on planting a bunch of flowers in this big rustic galvanized tub. You can turn basically anything into a garden planter just by drilling some holes in the bottom for drainage. So get creative with this and repurpose some of the things that you already have into planters for your porch. The tub got pretty heavy after all of that soil, so it took double the manpower to get it into its place. Lastly, we added an old olive bucket with flowers to that vignette that I started earlier, and then I finished off the whole makeover by adding a new welcome mat to the front door. Now it's time to see how this front porch makeover complete with farmhouse spring decor turned out. <music> 